In this tutorial, we will be looking at four different ways we are able to manipulate the playback of a video in VLC. Technique 1 is recording the video we are watching. I find this a really handy feature when watching tutorials, so let me give you an example. Here is a video of me practicing a D-Day technique called spin backing. Now I want to record a section of this as a separate video, so what I do is come up to playback in the menu bar and select record. It won't look like anything is happening, but a file is being created in your movies folder. To stop the recording, we can come back to playback in the menu bar and hit stop. Or, we can do it from the stop button on the control bar here. Once we hit stop, our video will be finalised. So let's now navigate our way to my movies folder, find my new file and double click it to see what we captured. As you can see, it looks like it should, and along the top it has named the file, the date, time and name of the original file to make it easier for identifying. So now that I have the section of the video I want, it's time to move to technique 2, which is adjusting the playback speed. We come up to playback in the menu bar, and from the drop down menu we have playback speed. As you can see, it is set to normal, which if we look to the right is 1. But what I want to do is slow my video down to get a better sense of all the different things happening in this clip. So I'm going to drag this slider all the way to the left, making playback speed 25% then come up and press play here to start my video. As you can see, the video is now a quarter of the original speed. Even though this is really handy, my video is still only 15 seconds long. So now we move to technique 3, looping. To loop a selection of our video, we come back up to playback in the menu bar and select A to B loop, where we want our loop to start and click it again where we want our loop to finish. And there you have it. To turn loop off again, just come back to playback in the menu bar and click A to B loop once more. Now, at this point, rather than continuing watching this video, I want to capture this image. So technique four is taking a snapshot. If we come up to video this time in the menu bar and select snapshot, a picture file of this frame has now been taken and saved to my pictures folder. So let's navigate to my pictures folder, find my file and double click it. And as you can see, we have our picture. I find these features great for a variety of educational situations and I hope this improves your experience in some way. Check out the next video where we'll be exploring the video effects in VLC.